So on email me the other day asking what's an appropriate amount to have in savings. Now that's a really good question and an important part of your financial planning. The rule of thumb is to have three to six months worth of essential expenditure. And that just means that you're covered should you lose your job or be unable to work due to an accident or illness and you have no money coming in. So you know you've got that peace of mind and that financial security. On the other hand, if you're retired and you've got pension income coming in, it's less important to have that cover, but still having money in savings as an emergency fund is important. Now, whether you're retired or working and you've got known expenditure coming up in the next say two to three years if not shorter it's important to have that covered by money in savings rather than having it in invested in the stock markets because when you need to call on it there's always a chance that the stock markets will have fallen so you'll be getting back less than you put in whereas having money in savings you know it'll be there when you come to get it there's also the need to cover unforeseen expenditure that might be having to replace your car or a hole in the roof or you've got a leak or the boiler's broken so having that money available as an emergency fund at that rainy day fund in savings is an important consideration as well the question then comes where do you put it because i know a lot of people at the moment are frustrated with the interest rates available on savings but you've got to remember that the purpose of savings is to provide capital security and not make you richer so accepting some lower levels of interest for the security of capital is an important trade-off but you could think about having some money in an instant access account where it's readily available and some in a notice account maybe six months maybe up to a year so you're getting a little bit of higher interest the other option to consider is premium bonds where you'll probably get a, an average rate of interest maybe a half a percent to one percent something in line with what you'll get in the banks and building societies but there's always that chance you'll get a larger cash price and if you're lucky scoop that million pounds as well so i hope that answers the, the question satisfactorily really important to have a savings uh, fund an emergency fund not too little that it leaves you high and dry but not so much that you're losing a lot of your wealth to inflation over time